It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up, YouTubers? It's a Sunday, it's 38 degrees Celsius cooking, and we are about to get it done. So, we thought we'd come in, smash it out a little bit earlier so that we don't have to train in the heat. But, um, obviously, because the gym's closed today, we're gonna be taking the jet ski out today, making the most of the weather. It's gonna be epic. I'm really excited too because I just got my jet ski tuned, and the guy said if you put the trim all the way up, as in like the flaps like this and then you just plant it, the thing will start to pop out of the water, which is not usually what stock jet skis can do. So I wanna see how much more power this thing has got. So anyway, hitting the chest session today and we're gonna be smashing that glyco jet powder back. Didn't have breakfast because I didn't really have time, but I don't usually have breakfast before I train anyway. I just have the double scoop of glyco and off I go. Okay, so the only other supplement that I've been taking at the moment is the Antidote, which is just a BCA complex. It's got a little bit of carbs in there, I think. It's got, per scoop, carbohydrate, 6 grams. So just a little bit to basically keep you going while you're training. But I don't mind putting in carbs when I'm training, before, after, during, whatever. Because as long as you're training at an intensity, you're going to use those carbs. So don't be scared, especially like if you're looking for a protein powder and it's got 1 or 2 grams of carbs in it. Because I used to work at a supplement store and people used to come in and they were like, man, nah, I want just straight protein. And then like they would have like 1 or 2 grams of carbs and I'd be like, no, 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 that's too much. I'm like, bro... Can you relax? Anyway. Drank at least a litre of water as soon as I woke up. Hydration. You think I should go 40s? Yeah, bro. Should give the 40s yeah. a crack, huh? Give Instead it a crack. I just <laughs> stepped it up and stopped being a little bitch, are you? <laughs> you got this, bro. <laughs>
super set guys. The first exercise is obviously the flat bench press. We're not looking to really go too much past failure. We're looking at it as like a pre-exhaustion exercise almost, just to build up a little bit of strength, get a little bit of blood flowing. And now we're gonna superset it with the decline dumbbell fly, which is where we're really gonna try and push past failure and pause on those stretches so that the muscle can really open up and tear. That's the most anabolic phase of the movement, so that's what we wanna focus on. Open up and stretch and pause for a second till it burns, and then I'm contracting and holding on to that tension. this superset, I've decided that we're gonna do a little bit of eccentric work on the Smith machine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the bar up like we would normally would be doing a flat bench press. And then Joe is actually gonna push down on the weight so that it's adding extra resistance on the lengthening phase now that our muscles are fatigued a little bit. Then I'm gonna push up by myself and then he's gonna start pushing down again. I might push out a few reps at the start just to get the muscle to start burning and then we're gonna start doing that and then we'll just superset it with um, decline flies. So I'll pop out a few. And you can come into Alright, push down. Yep. Yep. Oh! Let me come push on, it up. Yep, okay. Ah! Yep. Get it, bro. Come on. Yep. Oh, hold it there. Okay, go. You got it, man. Yep, okay. Oh. Ah. One more. One more. Go. Good, bro. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Look at that pump after that. That was good, man. That was good. I felt that burn. So basically the whole principle behind that is your muscles tear and they get microscopic tears within the fibers when they're in a fatigue state and they're holding onto those eccentric loads, okay? Once you then go to sleep and you eat protein, the protein's filling those micro tears and then that's how your muscles get bigger. So the aim of the game is to get your muscle to that fatigue state and then apply extra pressure through that eccentric load or that lengthening phase. So that's exactly what we just did. Oh yeah man, here comes that sun. 32 degrees at the moment at 10.30 a.m. By 4 p.m. it's gonna be reaching 37. And then, even when the sun goes down, it's still gonna be like above 30, 32, 31, 30 all night. last week so now we're just kind of moving it forward in the um, in the routine and then we're going to be finishing with a dumbbell incline fly to just really finish off the pecs up near the collarbone so basically every exercise that we've done today 
has specific has a specific purpose because we want to target certain areas of the chest, okay? We started with the incline, then we hit the lower, then we hit the lower outer, now we're kind of hitting more middle and upper middle, and then on the last one, we're hitting the outer corners. So obviously you can't target just one specific area, but you can favor those areas in order to make your chest look nice and full, nice and full, nice and full, okay? <laughs> Symmetry and balance is very important. tip for when we're doing this exercise is that you need to be thinking about doing like an isometric contraction with your hands where you're actually pushing your hands together like this continuously when you're holding the weight. What that does is if you push your hands together like this now, that uses your pec muscles to squeeze together. So if you do that while you're holding onto the dumbbell, that's how you get that tension building up within your pecs before you even start stretching it out. Then once you start to lower it behind your head and you're squeezing your hands together, that tension builds up and then you straighten your arms out and you squeeze and hold and you will feel like a fucking burning feeling from one collarbone to the other. So give that a shot. Alright guys, so we pretty much just wrapped up the workout there. I didn't get to feel my last exercise which was just the dumbbell incline fly, but I'm sure you guys have seen me do that a million and one time. So we're about to head to the beach now. I just had a quick rinse, got changed, put the ABW shorts on. Perfect for the beach. Can't wait to test these bad boys out on the jet ski. And uh, yeah, we're going to head over to Mina's for a barbecue, have a little bit of a feed first, and then just go and enjoy some sun. All right, just so you guys know, in Australia, our UV, what's it called? The thing above the world <laughs> that like blocks the UV? The bubble. The bubble. The thing that stops the UV from coming. You know what I'm talking about, yeah? Ozone layer. The ozone layer, very, very poor. More good. <laughs> so like our UV is strong, which means we'll get burnt real quick. It's not like Thailand or like Europe that you can just sit in the sun all day with no sunscreen and you just turn black. Uh -uh. You go red like a lobster. So I'm gonna slip, slop, slap today. That's for sure. Hang on, Joey's here. Big Jojo! How are you, bros? Oh, that was a 10 out of 10 connection. All right, bro, we're just gonna put some sunscreen on and then we're off. Well, that's seven. Does that say B on there? Underneath? This is nine. Oh. I'm guessing A and B. This one. You reckon? Yeah, let's just try. Mina! <laughs> I better ring. 
Oh, oh okay. It's Murray Road. Not Murray, oh, Murray Street. Street. <laughs> but we're all close. Alright, back in the car. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> 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 It's Mina. I'm just saw him on the middle of the road, baby. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Literally right there. <laughs> oh, this is brand new. Man. Wow. Nice. Oh, this is bro. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. 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 Oh, we need the music, we need the music. Whoa! Oh, you don't have the speakers yet. I got the portables. That's fire. <laughs> it's probably total fire, it's man. Total fire, man. If I get insurance, you know, the house burns yeah, down. Yeah. Bro, I'm that looks fire. so good. Street, wrong house. Oh. Yeah, yeah, street, Bangers. Bangers. As soon as you go, I'll open the garage. The house didn't even have a garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. When did you move in, Mina? Uh, probably three months ago. Yeah. You're too skinny, bro. Guys, welcome to ABW Cribs. Yes. We want to see what's in Mina's fridge, okay? What have you got there, bro? Open the door. First one, we got two trays of eggs. All right, good, 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 good. Open the second door. What have we got? All right, we got a full tray. Oh, oh we got moldy. We got moldy. Cucumbers, tomatoes. We got peaches for days. And then we got another full container of peaches and then more peaches like do you guys even eat these like why do you buy so many of them what else we got up here we got yogurt chobani some olives what's in here <laughs> <laughs> it's like a leftover salad we did not throw away anything. Oh, yeah. just keep it just keep it we can put some peaches in there later have it freshen it up oh my god just loving the yogurt eh? is that all you guys eat peaches and cream peaches and cream oh shit Intense fridge, bro. <laughs> What's this button do? I'm intrigued. Oh, so oh, open one side at a time. Oh, you got the hatch. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, that's not bad. So you don't actually have to open the fridge. Just a little hat hatch door. Ready? Bam. So we finally made it down to Elwood Beach and the sand is so hot. Nearly burnt my foot off just walking to the tent. <sighs> I need a drink, bro. Alright, so I'm currently sitting inside the tent because it's so hot. I've got a wet towel wrapped around my head with the AB Dubs hat on. I'm trying to keep it out of the sun. Got my teddy wrapped with my undies to try and protect that from the sun. And I'm just getting a little bit of colour on their legs. Went out on the ski for like half an hour, 45 minutes, which is good. But far out, man, just trying to keep cool. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to ask you if you're okay. My friends always feel the need to tell me things. Seems like they're just happier than us these days. These days I don't know how to talk to you I don't know how to be there when you need me It feels like the only time you see me Is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently mm -hmm. And last night I think I lost my patience Last night I got high as the expectations Last night I came to a realization And I hope you can take it I hope you can take it all I'm too good to you I'm way too good to you You take my love for granted I just don't understand it No, I'm too good to you I'm way too good to you You take my love for granted I just don't understand it I 
I just know I found myself in lost for you Lately you just made me work too hard for you Got me on flight of seas I still can't get across you oh, This is the best man, keeps the flies out Keeps the sun out, pool on the head, like amazing. Look at that. That's sick, bro. Look at that. Shackles out the Nike checks all over me. I need a fuel band just to see how long a run is being 10 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands. Fuck it, man. Let's just not even discuss it, man. OMG. Nigga sleep. I ain't tripping. I'ma let them sleep. I ain't tripping, let them rest in peace. In the middle of the road, yeah. This is very scenic. with the salts and we got two pieces of salmon and tuna to share very good rationing on that one all right guys fill us up with some Voss sparkling oh after a long day at the beach that is amazing we got the dragon roll oh my god and what's this chicken teriyaki one yum Alright guys, this is the one. This is the Ichini special. It's got salmon on the top, and then it's got mayo on the top of the salmon. Alright, here we go. Dig in. Come on, Maddie. Have at it, bros. Have at it. Don't worry about the boomerang. <laughs> Fuck the boomerang. We're too hungry. Yes! Oh, that's a hey, first time using chopsticks. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, no. Must be a good teacher. Just call me Sensei Un. So we're currently just in the middle of dinner waiting for the last dish to come out. And uh, we're on that live stream watching the Australian Open final. The men's, Federer and Silly. Federer is currently two sets up to one. And they're in the fourth set. Oh! Alright, last little nibblies for the night. We've got the salmon don. So just the grilled salmon with a side of rice. That should finish us off. I'm getting pretty full after all of that, surprisingly. Look at that. Put the light out. Just blind everyone. That's what you call a committed vlogger. Alright guys, just got home. Downloading the drone footage from today so that we can make up this epic vlog footage so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to the active fam if you haven't already and make sure you turn post notifications on by clicking the little bell and uh, we'll see you in the next vlog peace out